Understanding the phrase, silence yourself in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into an interesting English phrase, silence yourself. This phrase is a bit unique and has specific contexts where it's used. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how and when to use it appropriately. Silence yourself is a phrase that combines the word silence, meaning the absence of sound, with yourself, a reflexive pronoun. When put together, this phrase is an imperative form, which is like giving a command or instruction. In simple terms, when someone says, silence yourself, they are telling someone to stop talking or make no noise. It's important to note that this phrase can come across as quite stern or formal. Formal contexts. In formal settings, silence yourself might be used to enforce rules of quietness. For example, in a library or during a formal meeting, this phrase could be used by someone in authority to maintain order. Informal contexts. In informal situations, the phrase might be used among friends or in casual conversations, but be careful. It can sound rude or commanding. It's usually better to use softer alternatives like, could you please be quiet? Or, I need some quiet right now. There are other ways to express the same idea without using, silence yourself. These include, please be quiet, more polite and commonly used. I need silence, please, a softer, more indirect approach. Can we have some quiet here? A request rather than a command. In some cultures, directly telling someone to silence yourself can be seen as disrespectful or impolite. It's crucial to understand the cultural context and the relationship between the speaker and the listener. Always consider using more polite forms, especially in a multicultural environment or when you're unsure of the other person's comfort level with direct commands. So, that's all about the phrase, silence yourself. Remember, it's a direct and formal way to ask for quiet. It's essential to use it appropriately and consider softer alternatives in casual or sensitive situations. We hope this video has been informative and helpful in your English learning journey. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use the phrases you learn in your daily conversations. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.